Welcome to another episode of Vantage on I Want Second Opinion Med News Journal. Your go-to source for latest update in the world of medicine. This is Dr. Raj Prakash. We tend to bring you up-to-date medical news based on available medical literature. Today, we are going to discuss a topic that holds immense importance. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Otherwise, known as CPR. It's a life-saving technique that can make a crucial difference during emergencies. Let's dwell into the steps involved in performing CPR and how it can contribute to saving lives. CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a vital skill that anyone can learn to provide immediate assistance during cardiac emergencies. Today, we will go over the fundamental steps of CPR and its critical role it plays in sustaining life until professional help arrives. So let's begin. Most important step, safety first. Before we dive into CPR, the first step is to ensure the safety of both you and the victim. Always be aware of potential hazards in the surroundings. Your safety is of utmost importance. So, take a moment to assess the scene before taking any action. Number 2. Check responsiveness. Once you have established a safe environment, the next step is to check for responsiveness. Gently tap the person's shoulder and shout, Are you okay? Are you okay? If there is no response, it's time to take immediate action. Number 3. Call for help. Promptly calling for professional help is crucial in any emergency situation. Dial emergency service or direct someone else to do so. Remember, the faster the help arrives, the better the chance of positive outcome. Number 4. Begin CPR. Position your hands. Now, let's move on to the hands. When starting compression, position the heel of the hand on the center of the person's chest and interlock your fingers with the other hand. This proper hand placement is essential for effective chest compression. Number 6. Give compressions. During chest compressions, press down hard and fast. Aim for depth of at least 2 inches and maintain a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. It's crucial to allow chest to rise fully between compressions to facilitate blood circulation. Number 6. Open the airway. To optimize the effectiveness of CPR, ensure that the airway is open. How you do it is by tilting the person's head back slightly and lifting the chin. This simple step helps in maintaining a clear passage of air to enter the lungs. Number 7. If you are trained, you can provide rescue breathing. How do you do it? If you are trained in CPR, you may provide rescue breaths. Pinch the nose shut. Place your mouth fully over the person's mouth and blow to make the chest rise. Give two breaths, each lasting about one second. Number 8. Continue CPR. Continue performing cycles of chest compressions and rescue breaths until medical professionals arrive or the person shows signs of life. Consistency is key in sustaining the effort until help arrives. Remember, your action in these critical moments can make a significant difference in someone else's life. At this point of time, we want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for being a part of our incredible journey. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. Thank you for interesting us to be your source of medical news and updates. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so.
Your subscription fuels our passion to bring you the latest and most relevant information in the world of medicine. Stay informed, stay curious and thank you for being a part of the IWS.